I'm Eddie. And I'm Tatum. And we're with KidZone on SeeMyBeach.com. Eddie, what are we doing today? We're here with iCare and we're recording Surf Rider Foundation. And we're gonna record their litter cleanup, huh? Yes. All right, well, let's go out and watch these people clean litter. Today, we're not gonna clean litter because we're recording them cleaning litter to make it a bigger thing, okay? Let's head out. Hi. Hey there. Hi. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Something we found on the way. Oh, good job. Even with all these people cleaning litter, we're still finding more stuff. Uh -huh. That's how bad litter is, huh? Yeah, yeah it's everywhere. Well, these guys are from KidZone on SeeMyBeach.com, and they just want to come out today. This is Eddie, and this is Tatum. Hi. And want to see what you guys are doing and recognize it. Thank you for cleaning litter. Absolutely. What kind of stuff are you finding out here? Lots of plastic bottles. Okay. Lots of, uh, honestly, lots of bottle caps. Shoes, yeah. toothbrushes, combs. I mean, combs, just anything and everything Shampoo that you could think bottles, of. Yeah, I mean, all your personal good bottles. Yep. Toothpaste. That's awesome. Yeah, lots of uh, plastic. Honestly, everything that comes in plastic. Yeah, the small, the small things are what's killing the environment. So I'm glad y'all are getting the bottle caps and all that kind of stuff, yep. and using grabbers because right. that keeps things protected. Well, Kids Zone just want to come out and tell you guys you're doing a great job. Thank you. We wanted to record it so we can motivate other people to go do this. We appreciate Thank it. You. Clean litter. Our, our mission is to clean litter somewhere, clean some litter somewhere every day for the rest of our lives. That's a great mission. That's it. You guys take care. We'll talk to you later. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Eddie. Hi. And I'm Tatum. Nice to meet you. And we're on Kids Zone with SeeMyBeach.com. Fantastic. What kind of trash are you uh, finding? You know, though, I'm finding a lot of uh, bottle caps. Um, and uh, rope and plastic bottles, but mostly bottle caps. Like, they're just, I've, I've probably found well over a hundred of these. Wow. And what's sad is the turtles actually eat them, so we have to be really careful. And then lots of ropes. But I'll tell you one of the most unique things I found. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> the heel of a shoe. Wow. A boot. Oh. I know. That's so random, isn't it? Yeah. You find, you never know what you're going to find out here. What's your first name? Corey. Corey. Where are you from, Corey? Uh, I live here now. I just moved here. Awesome. Oh, you're, and you're chipping in. That means you're part of the Florida Keys. That's right. Because from people from the Florida Keys all right. chip in. Yeah, that's right. Well, we thank do. you for coming in. Thank you for being part of this. Yeah, and thanks. now you're on Kids Zone on CMYBeach.com. Fantastic. It was a pleasure to meet you. Thanks for coming out. You guys take care. Talk that's to you later. Right. Well, I've already interviewed this young lady. How are you doing? Good, thank but you. But now you're, you're still cleaning more trash. Even more trash, my, so, I Ed, think, fifth bag out. Eddie, ask them what, they're, what she's finding in. What are you finding? Mostly plastic water bottles and water cap. I mean, bottle caps, um, but lots of shoes, flip-flops. Um, I even found a light bulb that wasn't even broken. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Unbelievable. Yeah. Probably Deodorant, still works. It's thrown away. Deodorant, um, even makeup things, um, forks, knives, and spoons. Yeah, I'm just... I think a lot of the stuff blows off boats and people just don't secure it. I don't think most people try to blow it, try to throw their trash in the yeah. in the water, but I don't think that they're proactive with securing stuff. Yeah, and, and we, we always teach people when you have a trash bag you or, a, or one of the bags from Publix or whatever, right, which tie. you shouldn't take, right. tie it. Tie so they don't die. Yep. Well, thank you so much, okay? Thank you. The problem is I'm getting all the big stuff, but there's so much microplastic out here. It, it would take the rest of our lives to pick it up. We, we, we are also part of a litter organization, and our whole goal and mission is the small stuff. Yep. That's yep. what's really choking the yep. environment. Yep. This, this lady over here has been in that one spot the entire morning. Unbelievable. Just picking up microplastic. Unbelievable. Yep. This is so inspiring watching all of these people pick up so much little trash. And they're picking up small small pieces of trash and big pieces of trash. You have a good day, okay? You too, thank you. You thank you for everything. Even though we're not taking the bag, we're passing by and we're still cleaning up stuff that we're finding on the ground. It's crazy, isn't it? Hey Rick, you know, this is my favorite spot to clean trash. Why is that? Because on Pascal's day, I come over here and um, I pick up trash for um, my school. And we always go back there and we come out with like so much trash bags and it's so much fun. Because we get broken into all these little groups. And sometimes we can't even go all the way back there because there's like a little water. Really? <laughs> yeah, like a pond stream. Exactly. Kind of. I mean, one thing I like about you, Eddie, you always talk about litter cleaning as fun. It is fun, isn't it? Yes. You know, you're making a big difference and it's fun to do it. Hello. Hi. How are you doing today? Great, thank you. How are you? Good. Are you coming out for the litter cleanup? Yes. Can we catch you on video real quick? Sure. What's your name? My name is Tasha. Hey, Tasha, how are you doing? I'm Rick. 
Nice Tell me who you guys are. I'm Eddie and I'm Hi. Tatum. And we're all on Snappy Oh, nice. And we wanted to come out and record you guys coming out and doing positive things for our world. That's great. Absolutely. Spread the word and hopefully we can get some more people out the next time. There you go. We, yeah, we need a bigger turnout always, but we always clean litter. Uh, we clean litter every day, don't we? Ooh, part of our really mantra do. is thank you so much part of our mantra is to clean litter every day even if it's a small piece clean something thank you so much and thank you for coming out are you living the keys i do not i'm visiting a friend that lives here ah where are you from i'm from boone north carolina north carolina yes this is way cooler isn't it <laughs> yes, I love it. Uh, yeah, I've the never been to Boone, North Carolina, but yeah, the Keys is, is hard to beat. Yeah. But we're, everybody's trying to protect the Keys, and that's why we work so hard to clean litter, right? Because yes. we want to have this beautiful environment. So thank you for being part of it. Thank you. She's down visiting a friend, and she's coming out to clean litter. Isn't that inspiring? That's what our world's all about. Thank yes. you so much. Thank Be you. Be good. We'll see Bye. you later. <clears throat> you keep finding more stuff, huh, Eddie? Michael Schilling with the uh, volunteer with the Surfrider Foundation Florida Keys chapter. Okay, and would you tell us a little bit more about the cleanup? Yeah, well, I'll, Surfrider, we, we do a lot of different cleanups for marine debris on beaches like oh, behind shit, us. Um, we'll also go into uh, forests and, and areas like that near the coast to, oh to do a lot of cleanups. Um, we are a nonprofit. Uh, dedicated to protecting our coastal lands, coastal waters, and the oceans. Um, and that can be marine debris, of course, but we also do a lot of different advocacy. Um, for trying to do, say, ocean-friendly restaurants uh, to eliminate plastic in, in restaurants. Um, we also do uh, ocean-friendly gardens to try to promote local, uh, local gardens, which also help for rain filtration and everything like that. Um, so we do quite a bit, yeah. It's a great organization. I've actually, our, our company, SeeMyBeach.com, has actually worked with you guys at multiple places, always doing good things. So when you're looking at places to give your money to, people like this put it to good use. So thank you for what you that. do. No, thank you. Absolutely. All right, Eddie, you want to go back? They're about to they're weigh the trash. I think they've already weighed the trash, but they're going to have a little group photo or stuff. So let's go do that, okay? All right, Eddie, what are you going to do now? All right, now I'm going to give Michael a brand new ground. Yeah, they come here and they play. Wow. And I wanted to show you the magnetic tip. And it collects all the little all the little fragments that you don't see and all the little metal fragments. Wow. It'll, it'll pick fragment. up stuff you don't even see, Michael. Look at that. That's incredible. This will make our job so much easier and for our volunteers. That's incredible. Absolutely. Thank you so much, wow. Thank you so much for what you do, and we're, we're excited to be able to... We're helping Michael. Every, our, our whole mission is to make people motivated to go clean trash. And when you give them to the kids, it makes cleaning trash fun. That's right. That's Absolutely. Right. Well, thank you for what you do, Michael. Thank you. All right, guys. Eddie, everything's about wrapping up. So this is a perfect way to spend a Saturday, right? We got to come out and see these people doing great things. Pretty awesome, huh? Hold on a minute. These aren't working. All right. What? There's a smile.